don't you just love Monday mornings on the M25? Or any morning on the M25 to be honest. Even when you leave your home at half past four in the morning, you still can't avoid the M25. I don't know where all these people go at this time. Well, I do, they go at work. <coughs> they go hideously early. Signs say 40 mile an hour. Speedo says four mile an hour. The annoying thing is I only got, I don't know, about five mile to go. Always these last three junctions. Come on, I'm going fishing. They just don't seem to understand, do they? Should be an angler's lane, an extra one on the outside. Oh well, won't be long. Eventually, a little bit more sedate than the M25. No queue in front of me. No queue behind me. Just me and Madalena. Say good morning. Off for a little look about. such a contrast, all that madness of the motorways to get here. <coughs> all that hustle and bustle and rush and then you arrive, get in your little bateau and all is good with the world. Oh, it's good to be back. Huh? Getting excited now, aren't you, Mans? This is your favourite Mutton Jack Island. Try to wait till we actually get to dry land before you jump this week. Wait. 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 Go on in, it's as close as I can get. Go on in. There she goes. She's heard them. I don't hear any woofing yet. It's got two different <coughs> two different barks, my dog. It's got a normal deep guard dog bark. And that, that yelp, is when she sees something. It's the only time she does it. Yeah, it's like a real high-pitched one for if she sees a rabbit or a deer or whatever. I can just about see her in the back there flashing about. Here she comes. She knows they're here. <coughs> I think two or three of them live on this island. Boy, can they hide. <laughs> Bit like the fish, they can hide as well. Still haven't seen a proper one jump this year. Or any one properly jump. 
bumps and things that will probably tinge. Well, we're here, we're at the lake. We're back in platform three, just for a change. Bet you lot are fed up seeing this swim, aren't you? I get like that sometimes. But I have a plan. I'm seeing the plan through. I've made this swim specifically for a fish that I've seen here a few times in the past, quite a few times. And I'm going to catch the bugger. Madalena's here. Say hello to the nice people, Madalena. Or not. Barbecue's on. Tonight we have, well, stuff from Tesco's. I didn't have time to prepare really nice, nice stuff. That sort of pre-made barbecue, probably rubbish. Um, apparently Korean chicken kebabs, but I've been to Korea and I've never seen anything quite like that. And Mediterranean somethings. I've been to the Mediterranean and I've never seen things like that. Why has everything got to be so fluorescent orange? It's food anyway. Food is good. We have somewhere the accompaniment. And the strongbow. All she's interested in is where's hers. That is here. She has Grain free chicken and potato with vegetables. It's yours. <laughs> but you gotta wait, because you're a dog, so you come second. Well, look at that. My little plan has worked. Well, sort of worked. It's not the great big scaly ancient warrior I was hoping for. It's a 17 pound stocky, but um, it's all good practice. Practice for the uh, battle that's got a strategic plan to land them. Do this, then do that, then to go over there and then pull them this way and then get in the boat. And it's quite complicated, but we got one. The sun's making a mockery of that bit of video, isn't it? There you go. It's a sunny day. It's a bloody beautiful day actually. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I was sitting there watching me quiver tipping, watching the tip. I see it just tap a couple of times. Oof, oh, there's something out there grabbing about and it tapped once more and then it whacks round. And we done battle. And we succeeded. Victorious. Oh, I do hope one of them bigger ones is there. But you can't odds what picks it up, can you? That's the thing, if you've got a lake with a handful of decent ones and a lot of <coughs> smaller ones, then obviously percentage chance you're going to get a smaller one. But keep plugging away, Laney. Keep plugging away. Right, I'm well aware that the light here is going to be bloody awful. Um, I don't want to go too far from that rod. The nearest bit of shade is too far. So it's a bit of in the water. Probably a disaster. I'm going ready. If you're really lucky, you might get a quick glimpse of him. He wants to go.
Okay. Quite how well you can see that with that rubbish sunlight all over it. Dappled and everything. You get the general idea. Without me having to go too far away with that rod and just losing something. 17 pound stocky. Lovely fish. Beautiful fish in fact. Here we go. Thank you very much for the fish. See you later. So here we are installed in a new swim <coughs> excuse me one of my old favourites from last year fishing across to the island over there so there was nothing in those um, snags down the other end down the railway end so I thought we'd have a night out of platform free and try it back in here It's that time of night, we're there, in a moment, we're going to have the barbie. Tonight I've got king prawns. They thawed out, I've just put them in a big box and shook them about with loads of herbs and spices. And we're going to have prawn kebabs. My faithful and trusty guard dog. He's absolutely sound asleep on the stairs. And they are some stairs as well, these are an absolute death trap. All falling apart and crumbling. I've actually been up there when I first got here in the woods with a chainsaw. Um, huge great tree had fallen across the path. I managed to cut it into bits um, and it all collapsed and pulled all the brambles down and I went to chop that out and I ran out of petrol so it's even more impenetrable than it ever was but it's a work in progress right cooking time now this is looking good Pan fried should have been roasted Mediterranean vegetables. Got our prawn kebabs, which are just about done, I reckon. They come off. How is that not a million times better than that processed crap that I ate last night? Fluorescent orange. Any Korean chicken. Just taking about three minutes of preparation to put some jollop on the prawns and about yeah, maybe ten minutes to cook. Spanky. Yum, yum. I know what you're thinking. Every time I turn this camera on, it looks like a different swim. That's because every time I turn this camera on, it's a different swim. Um, I sat in those, that snaggy one last night. I mean, I'd seen six fish in there before I moved in, and one of them was one that I really want. Um, and then they all just melted away, as is often the case on here. It's them, that's the problem. To fish properly, you need a boat, but the fish have got wires to boats. They hear a boat coming, hear the engine, or even if you row, it's a big old square on the surface, they don't like it. But it's such a snaggy lake, you can't just chuck a chod somewhere up against a bush and hope it's fishing. You need to go out, have a look, make sure it's safe, find a spot. By the time you've done that, quite often the fish are gone. This is a pain. But anyway, sausages are on. That's why she's down there. Someone's adapted this swim since I was last in it and built a that sort of bivy area, but it's a little tight 
and unfortunately there's that bush there it only faces sort of out that way and I ain't fishing out that way today I'm fishing out that way towards the house so I've decided to cart it all up the top of the hill and set up up here I like it up here you get such a good view this is the swim you've probably seen it if you watch any of regular sort of blogs of mine I quite often come out here early morning just boat out uh, and sit on these steps and watch this West Lake section. This is the island where Mads chases the muntjac. Although, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Seems a little tired today for some reason. No chasing nothing. Um, but I saw a couple of fish out in the middle somewhere this morning. Problem is, I saw them from the other swim, so probably five, six hundred yards away makes it very hard to gauge exact distance. I don't want to be boating about over the top of them. I went out long, right out here, and let the wind drift me through on the sort of line. There was some floss out there this morning when it was calm, and I sort of gauged where the fish were in comparison, and I drifted through, and I've dropped a cane. I don't know if you can see that, but it's about there-ish. Just quietly dropped him over the side anywhere, didn't look for any, anything on the bottom, and let the wind blow me away. Um, <coughs> And now I'm casting, just just to keep that away from them. See if it makes any difference. It ain't often you can cast in here, but this open water, massive great big area of open water, quite deep open water. But the weather's due to turn this afternoon. Um, all that cloud up there is going to thicken, and then it's going to tip it down at some stage early morning. Okay, we've now got another plan. Unfortunately, um, take that hair stop out of my mouth. Unfortunately, a rather large tree, I think I showed you the other week with a big crack in it, has uh, fallen down in my swim. But I've seen fish down here, the wind's coming in lovely. I've been all the way along, there's a huge, great wind hit bank out, out through the channel and all the way down to the other end. I couldn't find fish anywhere, and I come through here and see a few down the bottom there. Spooked them, unfortunately. The boat blew in right over the top of them. But I uh, thought while they're spooked, I'll get three rods out there quick, and uh, and just leave it. I have to do a bit of pruning. Obviously, I can't get that out, but I can get some of the jaggy bits off. But, uh, yeah, all fun. We've got Mrs. Goose back. Remember her? Saw her before. Built her a little fence last time. She don't see that fuss now. Dog don't seem fast either, got used to each other. She's up there, sunbathing. I've got to make some semblance of order of all this lot. <sighs> Nightmare. But anyway, I've got to crack on, get my third rod out. See you in a bit, hopefully with a fish. Ta -da. Right, rods are in. <sighs> Just been out there having a bit of a soaring frenzy. Just so I can get a boat in and out. Um, all in a day's work up here, unfortunately. Just got to now try and pull that bloody branch out.
Whew. That's one of them out. A great big leafy one from the bottom, but it's too deep. Can't see where it comes from. I'll have to do. Whew. I deserve a side, don't you? I've only gone and caught one. Thought I'd spooked them all off with me moving and baiting and everything else, getting set up. And um, it's torn off. I've got myself a 23 and a half common. And not just any old 23 and a half common, this is a proper old one. These are the sort of fish I want to catch. Long, angry, proper. That's what we're here for. Look at him! Hey? <laughs> You've got to be happy with that. Is absolutely mint. Very, very sunny, so hopefully he looks all right. He certainly looks all right for me, I can tell you. He's an ancient old warrior. Fault like mad. Nearly tore the landing net out of my hand when I got him on the bank. Well, he got him in the net. He's a corker. We love you. Right, we'll be back in your old home. Right, I hope you're keeping up with this. Because uh, I'm having a job too. It's still the same day. Um, woke up in one swim, platform three, then I fished the crash helmet, then I fished the village bay. And now I'm fishing out into the West Lake. <coughs> so it's my fourth swim today. Oh, Christ. There's gear everywhere. That's why I'm tripping over. Actually, the tripod's not working, is it? <sighs> so, we're out here. In the big bit. Sim fish. Fancy it a lot. Sort of, all I've got is the dog bed set up so far. I've got clobber everywhere, and that's only part of it. I've got another big stash somewhere else, all covered in a tarpaulin. I've got a boat somewhere as well, a couple of them. I've got one set of trousers which is decidedly wet. A little accident with the pond. I'm absolutely knackered, my back is killing me. I've been chopping down branches and clearing paths and moving, swim. But I have caught one today. And that's major. Just been looking at the photos of him, he's lovely, isn't he? Beautiful old thing. But hopefully, in here, we're going to catch another one. That's my plan. Right, I've got lots of work to do. No time to talk to you a lot. Layers. Well, it's when we thought it was all over for the day and the session. One of the, there's a group of very small, scrappy little wildy commons in here. One of them has taken pity on me. Nowhere that's got any light to do any photography or video here, so I'm actually out in the lake. Um, that's why I'm crouching down trying to get in here and looking like a bit of a mob. Be awkward, but there we go, one to go home with. Better than nothing. Very much, Mr. Fish. 
say go back and grow into a bigger. You ain't, you ain't never growing. 